say hey everyone it is five o'clock and it's sunday so it's time for so sweet sunday well facebook still would not let me be great they still would not let me um add my comments you know all the little blurb that i usually write in so i'm gonna copy it and paste it in a moment but nonetheless we are here and we're ready let's go ahead and share everywhere we share to so sweet academy it's so sweet to learn we almost lost it. Um, my chaotic embroidery. I don't have my paper with me. Uh, different sugar. Brown girls crack. But nonetheless, well, we call her, her, yeah, call her and tell her that I got her message. No, you have to call her iPad. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's get started, guys, because the fact that my daughter's calling me is letting me know that I need to call her back because she just texted me and told me she was having issues. She's getting her hair done right now. Um, she might call you next, so if she does, just tell her. Find out how long before they're done and tell her, okay, I'll get more. Um, can y'all hear me? <laughs> hey, look, Andrea. Hey, Laura. Jeff says, I win first comment. Mm. Oh, mm -mm. Jeff, look, Andrea beat you to it. On my screen, it says, um, look, Andrea was first. And then you said you didn't get the text message today. I know. You know what? So the text message, uh, not carrier, but the text message marketing group thing that I use, I like it because it's easy, but then at the same time, when I get so many messages to be going out and all that stuff, it doesn't always, um, it doesn't always send it or something, something about the credits that I have. So I have been in the process of looking up another one, and in the meantime, when they reset, then you all get them. I know, I know. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Hey, Marla. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Evelyn. Can you hear me now, Marla? Hey, Fanny. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Joy. Okay, so Jeff can hear me. Um, Marla, try going out and coming right back in. Hey, Amelia. Hey, Belinda. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Nan. How are y'all? Y'all doing good? All right, so let's get this show started. Um, like literally, my daughter was calling me when I was when I was starting the live, and she's getting her hair done. And I to, something told me that I didn't buy enough packs of hair, so she's getting braids, the long braids and stuff like that. So that means I didn't buy enough hair. And then I hope the hair store doesn't close this evening. All right, anyway, we'll figure it out. So let me tell you how my day went today. So today I went to Costco, and I um saw the cutest well first of all this shirt i was gonna wear my other shirt but then i got hot right before i started so i switched to this shirt which is yet another sweatshirt but it's thin and i found these cute joggers uh oh this doesn't go with it i found these cute joggers and while i was there i was talking to this lady and she was just saying you know that she liked the feel of these and all kinds of stuff and i told her that they are really similar to the ones that i got at old navy because they're just, they're soft, they feel good. They're like athleisure. That's a new thing, like the athletic leisure wear. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Dee. Um, 
So I bought them and I told her that I was going to, I said, I like them because all of my joggers and sweatsuits and stuff, I always put my logo and everything on it. And she gave me the best idea ever. And I told her I was going to take her idea and I told her to log in to, um, to join the group or either find me on Facebook and then log in and she would be able to see me stitch on them. And she gave me the idea that she said, instead of putting my logo, y'all, I, I never thought about this. She said, instead of putting my logo, I should put what I do. Because I have so many of them with my logo on there. So I said, you know what? That's a good idea. So I'm going to put, I teach embroidery. Who would have thought that? Who would have thunk it? So um, then I got home. You know, I have to just be extra, extra. Because the easiest way would have been to do it on the single. I mean, oh, hold on. What's wrong? Are they done now? How close do they done? How close are you? Two packs or two bricks? Two hours? No, no. Do, how much hair do they have left now? How much hair do they have left? Oh, don't send hair. Yeah. Well, she should have called me. Tell her, tell her they're going to have to wait probably about 30 minutes or so. I got to do my um, live. Marita, ask, does the girl drive? Can she run to the store and I, and I cash app her? I'm sorry. Now, welcome, welcome to my family um, situation. So while we figure that out, good. Rap, come on. Okay, she don't know. Tell her, ask her. She can't get her up if she don't know. She don't know if she can drive? If she can go. <sighs> All right, then. Well, I don't know. Tell her I'll call her back in 30 minutes. And we'll call you back in 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. Let's take a deep breath and let's get this started. Um. Okay, so Susan wants to know how did my mom's surgery go. Tell her I'll cash out for her. How is your mom doing? I like the tree. Thank you, Rosa. Oh, yeah. Okay. So to answer that question, if you all hear my mom talking in the background, I would turn the camera, but she's like all laid up fun with um, blankets and everything around her. Her surgery went really, really well. Everybody's asking how your surgery go, mom. Tell them. Hey. It went well. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jeff. I cannot cash after you either. Um, <laughs> But uh, I just made me fit. Um, I forgot what part of the story I was at. Sorry, y'all. Like, welcome, welcome, welcome to my welcome to my world. Okay, this is just the normal day in my life. It's crazy, and I have to orchestrate all kinds of um, randomness. But anyway, back to this. Um, my mom is doing great. Just a quick little um, quick little blurb, since my family is very much a part of my lives. My mom had. Can I tell you? Okay, you know, a whole HIPAA violation and everything. I don't, want, I don't want to be involved in that. But anyway, my mom had a total knee replacement on Friday, and she came home the very same day. You know, I, I do physical therapy, so I thought that was the craziest thing ever. We had been hearing it come down the pipeline that the whole medical, everything was changing, and that people would be able to go home the same day with knee replacement. I was like, never, that's crazy, because, you know, people would stay in either the hospital or either like a short-term care facility for a couple days and then go home. No, I just thought it was the craziest thing ever. But nonetheless, I felt comfortable because I have um, rehabbed plenty of knees and I know, you know what to do and I knew what to expect from her. So she comes home. It first started between the two of us, y'all. She started with me first thing. As soon as we got out the car, no, before we got out the car, I stopped her by to get some food and we were going to split the whole plate. By the time we got home, she ate the whole plate because, you know, she was so hungry from, I guess, the anesthesia and everything. So I had nothing to eat. But we got home and I was walking her in the house and she just decided to test my nerves just to see how much I would just, just freak out. And we were walking and she just decided to let go of the walker just to see how her balance was. And I lost it. I'm like, what are you doing? Hold on to the walker. I don't know if she remembers all this. But anyway, she we got into the house. We did good that whole night. She was pain-free because of the anesthesia and because of um, Expirel or whatever you call it that they put in there. She did great. She did great. She was walking back and forth to the bathroom. She's like, oh, this is fine. I'm going to be good. And I kept telling her to take your pain medicine. And finally, she's like, no, I don't need it. So me, being as smart as I am, I was like, okay, I'll just I'll just let her, let her feel a little bit of pain. And then she'll start asking for the pain medicine. So sure enough, that's what happened. The next day, the PT came. Get her eval. She's doing great. If any of you all know about knee replacement, she's already past 90. She's already um, 
bearing all weight on it. She is not supposed to be walking to the bathroom by herself per me, but I have caught her plenty of times walking around the house by herself. And this is just three days post-op, y'all. Three days post-op. Today I just changed her dressing, changed her bandage, all that fun stuff. So I said all that to say she's doing great. She's going to do great. Thank y'all for asking, okay? Because I was about to get long-winded, and I know y'all are um, already disgusted. Dollar Tree is housing. Oh, I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> she said the Dollar Tree is calling. She's ready to go back out to the store to the Dollar Tree. Um, a couple of messages came in. Someone said they had... Someone said they had knee replacements. Who was that? I had knee replacement and went home three hours later. I know, Evelyn, like, isn't that crazy? How did yours go, Evelyn? Did I'm you... glad I came home. I mean, I'm glad. I told her I'm glad she is too, because then that means I would have had to stay at the hospital and I had to split times and I wouldn't have been, been able to be live today. So I'm super glad she came home. She's doing great. Um, and Nita, you're right. Moms don't listen. They don't listen. They don't listen. Not at all. Not, not one little bit. Mom too. And I don't listen. But, um... <laughs> So, all right, y'all, you ready? Back to the stitch out today. So we're gonna stitch out on these joggers and we're gonna do it on a single needle. So you know what I'm talking about? I don't have it on these joggers that I have on, but I got these from, all these from Walmart, but like usually I stitch like my logo right here. And I told y'all the lady in the store gave me the idea to put what I do. So I'm up for two total knee replacements. Oh my, woo. She she's probably she's gonna have her other one done too. Um, hopefully not this year. I don't think my I don't think. No, next year. Hopefully not next year. Maybe twenty twenty three. Um, Evelyn now. Evelyn says she went to the Dollar Tree two weeks later. See, Evelyn, we're supposed to be keeping her home resting and everything. Yeah, I'm to but later. she's expecting to go next week, y'all. But um, okay, so. The lady gave me the idea in Costco to put on their eye stitch. I mean, eye teach embroidery. So that's what we're going to do. I usually love to do them on my multi-needle because it's just easier to slip on and slip off. I've never done it on my single needle. I've done everything. I've done a sleeve on my single needle. I've done, I don't know. I've, I've done baby things. I've done a lot of other stuff, but I've never done it on my single needle. So let me just show you all. So I did a little prep work and I have a good, good, good treat for the Academy because I was watching someone else hoop something and I found a new hooping hack. So this week probably, what are we doing in the Academy this week? Coming up soon, I think because we're doing in the hoop bag this week, I think, but coming up soon in the Academy, I will show you all, or I'll just record a little video and show you all how I did this super easy, super fast, super fun way of just hooping that. So anyway, I hooped it. Usually, y'all know me, I float everything, but I hooped it on here. Um, Lakendra, I know you've done yours on the single needle. You've done a lot on your single needle. So, I'm going to put some water soluble on top of it. Not because it's plush, but because it is a little, it's a little slippery. And sometimes when I put that on there, I find that it holds a little bit better. So, we're going to just put a little... This show, let's, oh yeah, we gotta get the show on the road. Okay. So did they say they were going to the store? Yeah. Okay, so she's gonna go. She got $10, you think that'll cover it? Yeah, that'll cover it. Okay. How much kind of well, that? We gotta get $10 back too. I'm a cash app, I'll just put in the, the price of um her doing her hair. And I knew they were, I knew that was gonna happen when we went live. Yeah, I remember Kira's paying for it. She has it right now? That's what she said. Oh, okay. Prices averted. Um, it would be nice if I had some tape here, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to just hold this down. You guys can either, when you do yours, you can either tape it down, or like I've just always held mine, or you can hoop it in there with it. So I'm going to just put it in here and hold because I don't have tape. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm not telling you all story. Try to tape it down with a dime sticker, maybe. Just tear that in half, cut that in half. Y'all can't tell me I'm the only one that does little bootleg things. I know y'all do it too. I know you do. If y'all have 
haven't noticed, there's no rules to this embroidery thing unless you're doing freestanding lace. There's rules there, and they should be fine. That's the one that had knee surgery. She can get on the floor now. <laughs> Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn, my mom wants to know. Since your knee surgery, can you get on the floor now? I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe maybe y'all should talk offline. I don't know. I don't know. Hey Jackie. Hey Peggy. So okay, you guys, I'm sharing into a couple of new groups because um, I usually share into just a regular brother single needle, like for beginners, but another one came up. So if you are new to me, first of all, we don't always have these shenanigans on here. We do always have fun but we don't always have these shenanigans. But we do single needle or multi-needle stitch out projects every Sunday at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Oh, okay, well, so, okay, that's, that apparently is a common question because Susan wants to know also. Not sure, I'm not gonna ask questions, but if you're still there, Evelyn, answer, chime in. But um, we do stitch outs on the single needle or the multi needle. We've done a ton of things, a ton of, ton of, ton of things. Um, if you are a member of the It's So Sweet to Learn group, all of the replays are housed in there. And more recently, I've been uploading them to um, YouTube. So welcome, welcome. If you're new, please tell me, chime in, say, hey, newbie here. Hey, first time. Let us know because we always like to greet you and say, hey, hey. And just we'll try to tuck in our silly today, even though some of it has already spilled out. So I have it up already. And um, basically, it just says, I teach embroidery on the bottom line, okay? So I'm going to go and find my placement because I did not do that. I did not do that before y'all came over. I do apologize. So I use my trace tool. And I want it pretty close to the pocket. And guess what? I'm going to try this on when we're done so you can see. So let's go all the way over to the left. All right. Uh, let's turn down this light. On. It's kind of bright. Does that make it any better? Not really. Okay. So these trace tools over here help you to find your placement. And then go down. So this is not very big. Oops. This is a perfect size. And once you find your placement, hit OK. So I don't care how well you've hooped this or how well you found it. I just always make it a habit of tracing it around just to see where it's going to fall on your um, project, OK? So go to embroidery. I only have two color changes. Um, the first one, luckily, is already it's already threaded in pink. And I, I think I want to use this pink. I, I prefer like a hot pink, but We'll go with this one. I like this one. This one will do. Are you using your machine font? I'm not. I actually used, let's see, what font did I use? What font did I use? I got it from Designs by Juju, and it is Salt and Lime. Salt and Lime by Designs by Juju. Okay. So I'm satisfied with that. Somebody the other day asked me about tension and um, she must, I think she was in the academy, the one in the academy asked me. Sometimes if it's something that's like a tight stitch or something, I may go down to like 3.4, 3.2, you know, somewhere around that. For some odd reason, when she asked me, I could not for the life of me remember what on what scale tension was on, on the single needle. I hadn't changed it in so long. So um, I'll have to tag her to let her know what this one is but i just i took it down some i very rarely leave it at four but lately i forgot to change it so it's been at four but sometimes i'll change it down because when i first got this machine it the tension was so tight but then over time i don't have to change it anymore but i watched a youtube video and she said she puts hers on about 3.0 somewhere to 3.0 3.2 um, or 3.4 so i started changing it back then and it worked and then now all of a sudden i really have to change it except for this right now all right, press her foot down. Green means go. We're looking good. Hey, Jackie. So 
the main thing about doing anything on your single needle is just keeping everything out of the way. And I'm also going to Next, we're going to use some white. So it's going to be black and white with a pink heart. If y'all like that, you got to watch to the end to see the whole thing because I am going to model it for us. So usually... Ugh, I can't... There we go. Now that's one thing I don't miss. Okay. Next thing, press her foot down again. And yes, Jeff, I absolutely did use stabilizer. I have um, black cutaway on the back of it. I absolutely, I would not dare do um, anything clothing or stretchy wise without stabilizer. I've lost my mind a couple times, but no, 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 just wouldn't do that. All right, so let's go. Green means go. And I'm trying to get, can y'all see it? multitasking over here y'all I'm trying to put my comments in because Facebook this just won't let me be great anymore and copy it and paste it in at the same time and this is only a seven minute stitch letting you be great. That is for certain and for sure. And they found something that works. Let's get rid of it. Exactly. Like, why would they do that? Why? Who does that? Um, one thing you want to make sure of is that nothing gets caught underneath. Nothing gets caught underneath. Alright, next line. Okay, so listen, um, I just, I don't know if you were here for the first part. I just told everyone that's in the academy that I, I did a, I hooped this. Y'all know me, I love to float, but I hooped this and um, I was going to show y'all in the academy. So remind me on, I guess, Tuesday to show you all how I did it. Super, super easy. But in the meantime, I wanted to make sure I showed everyone on So Sweet Sunday that it's first of all, possible to begin with, because joggers are usually, they're always pretty loose. You want to make sure you keep your pocket out of the way. That pocket, listen, this pocket was made possible by 
one that was already stitched down. But if you have one of those pockets that's like the freestanding pocket that you just can plop around everywhere, you definitely want to pin it up out of the way. And I really hope the, the lady that I ran into in Costco, I hope she made it on here so she can see that she inspired my live today. That was the best idea. So you guys, if you all do this, if you do vinyl, if you do embroidery, if you do anything, whatever, sublimation, instead of putting your logo, I mean, still put your logo on things, but let's start putting what you do. And then you just walk around wearing it. Who, who, who's going to tell you not to? You did it. I'm sitting here looking like I'm spelling the word embroidery in my head because I'm like, did I, did I misspell embroidery? I think I got it right. E-M-B-R-O-I-D-E-R-Y. Yep. I teach embroidery. All right, and then I'm going to snip it real quick, and I'm going to step to the side and see how fast I can change into this. Like Superman fast. Susan, I, yes, I agree. Ohana means family. I know that because of Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Scotty says, I'm at my machine now. What are you making? What are you making? All right, we're all done. It says finish and broke. So let's hurry up. I'm just going to cut the big ones, the main. I think that's good enough. I know, right? This is a good idea. Like, y'all, if, and then if you, some of you all may have family members that are, that have other trades and stuff, put that on there. Like, put what they do. Don't just put the business name anymore. Let's do that. Let's just, let's just be right out there. Let's just tell people. We're walking down the street. They read our shirt. They read our clothes. They read our car. They can get to know our business name later. Let's just tell them what we do flat out. Y'all, have y'all seen, in y'all's towns, do y'all have those, um, do y'all have those signs that says, we buy ugly houses? I mean, you know, I used to wonder, what does that mean? Why does somebody want to buy an ugly house? And then now I understand, because they do fix and flips. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. One of them says, I finally got machined. Not to break up the thread, not testing software. Oh, that sounds like fun. Congratulations for getting past that first hurdle, first of all. All right, so keep in mind, y'all. Okay, wait, we have, yeah, we all have an extra minute. Let's, let's, let's go the extra mile. Let's just make it right. I'm monogramming socks. Yes. So, uh, my mom says we're going to learn how to sublimate socks. So a lot of you all on here sublimate. Do me a favor. Don't call me. Tag me. 
first of all, don't call my mom. Um, <laughs> because my mom needs help. And I don't know where to start with her to, to help her. So we'll just, we'll start there. I got the socks. She has the socks. And okay. And the, uh, the printer. All right. Yeah, I'll be right back. Let me go change. I'm going to put these on real quick. I want to just show y'all real quick. Let me make sure I'm out of the camera. Uh-oh. Y'all can't see me, can you? You think you want to get on it. It makes me nervous. Like, what if the other side is here? We need some, like, changing music. Somebody sing for us. Well, I gotta do that with the multi if I do. Look! <laughs> I just watched myself hop into the frame. I teach embroidery! So listen, you guys all need to put this on your clothes and tell everybody what you do. Ooh, yeah. You have a shirt too. Yeah, I can put I, oh. Now I gotta put it on a shirt. I can put it on a hat. Do y'all want, I don't know if I can give y'all this file because I used, I used another um, file from like somebody else's font set. So I technically, I don't think I can give this away, but use another font. well, I have to digitize it. And, you know, that takes me probably like a good day and a half to figure out how to remember how to digitize. Um, but let's see. Oh, <laughs> Melissa singing Oh Christmas Tree. <laughs> Marla says nice. Shirley said nice. Belle said nice. Jimmy said cute. Oh, let me catch you. You're, you're catching me. I'm right here. Y'all, my mom is trying to tune in to me. She wants to tune in to us. She's here. Isn't this like I'm not ready to go? This is super cute. I'm going to tweeze it. So I had, what's for dinner? Huh? What do you want for dinner? Not today. Oh, what happened? She says it's uh, on Sundays. It's not a good day. For her or for wife's saver? For any of them. Okay. Um. Okay. So I have to cook. Okay. Just do that potato in the microwave. Yo, I can only do one thing in one day. I can either I can embroider my heart out, or I can cook. I don't know if I can do both in one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cooked grits, eggs, and bacon for breakfast. And that's it. And that's all I did. Never did anything else. So, boom. I'm going to be walking around like this. I'm going to say hi. You know, I'm so, so, I'm going to say, hey, my name is Alexis. And I teach your brother. Um, but yeah, I think you all should do the same thing. And if you have a Costco in your area, go get these. All right. These are super duper comfy. If I can find the tag. They are. Oh, y'all see the little, look at that. Look, the only person that has stuff under the tree so far is Cannon. Y'all see that? It's Cannon. Make mom some saying, my daughter teaches embroidery. Susan is the bomb. Susan had a good idea there. You're on to something. Make a mom shirt that says, I'm learning. <laughs> make mom a shirt that says, I am learning sublimation. Well, see, I would first have to learn it to, to make that shirt for her. I can, I can just, embroider one. Just embroider. That's out of my wear. So I should embroider one that says, I'm learning sublimation? Yeah. And then somebody that lives locally is going to talk to me. It could say, teach me sublimation. No, I can't teach. No, teach me. Like, if you're telling them, teach me sublimation. Oh. But I love that idea, Susan. Good, good idea. Uh, how are you doing with socks? Oh, sticky tear away and the sock helper tool. I've seen the sock helper tool. I think one of my friends here locally had it, and... Is that called the jig? Jeff, is it called the jig? For seven, seven, oh, no, 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 no. This was for embroidery. Oh, okay. No jigging around here. 
Uh, I have HTC down pack. Tina, we need to trade um, crafts then. Tiana, it's Tiana, right? Tiana says she has um, supplement, I mean, HTV down pack. She needs embroidery. Evelyn, Evelyn's back. Evelyn, did you hear our question? Our, my mom and Susan both want to know that after your knee replacements, are you able to get down on the floor? That was their question. I'm just the messenger. Um, and Jeff said he brought it off of Amazon. You guys, no, I, listen, I don't, do, oh, I was supposed to be showing y'all what this was. I don't do the extra stuff. All I do is embroidery. Listen, I know my lane and I stick to it. I don't know how to do all the other stuff. Because I will definitely get carried away. All right, so these are everyday joggers. They're recycled moisture wicking four-way stretch. Listen, they're, they're, when I tell you it does stretch four ways, this little baby stretches. Um... Stretch fabric, comfortable elastic waist with draw cords. Okay, they're they're absolutely correct. It's comfortable. It's thick. It's a very thick one. And side pockets. So remember, I told you about the pockets that don't um that don't like get in the way. You know how the ones that are like freestanding pockets. This pocket is stitched down and around. So so Evelyn said like like kneel down. Like sit down. Like sit down in Indian style? Well, no, just be able to sit down and, and, and do my quilt. On she the wants floor. to be able to sit down and quilt on the floor. So her next answer was no. So I'm assuming that's a no. No? Well, shit. I, I, hey, excuse me? Excuse me. This is a curse free live. Oh, I, got just, <laughs> I got just done for nothing. I can't, y'all. I can't. I don't, I don't know how long my mom's going to be here recovering, but I, you guys might get a comedy show every time. Um, I started doing sign vinyl on this stupid part. They're laughing at you, Mom. Amelia, to be exact, is laughing at you. I started doing sticker vinyl. I made a sticker for the front of my machine. My own branding. Scotty says Mom gets a pass. Of course she does. Uh, after my... If it wasn't for Mom, you wouldn't be teaching today. Ooh, okay, Mom. I don't know how this... News is going to strike you. But Samantha said after her full knee, she cannot sit on the floor or in the tub. But she prays that you can. No cussing. No cussing. No, I ain't going to cuss. I mean, I want to sit in the tub. I'm just the messenger. I couldn't do it before. And I thought, oh, this was. Okay. Kanitha says she loves you being here. Like, I'm glad y'all do. I mean, I love her being here too. Don't get me wrong. I do, but y'all, this is it's always a it's always a comedy show. <laughs> Bill said you got mom messed up. I don't know if y'all came here for the stitch or for my mom because you got both. You finished it. I did. Um, is it our Artiga? Okay, Artiga. It, listen, Artiga's getting us back on track. And did I pronounce your name right? So she says she's a newbie. And she wants to talk back about embroidery. So she says, I'm a newbie. What machine would you recommend? So if you're doing single needle stuff and you just, you know, you want like a five by seven hoop, which is this one. It comes with a five by seven hoop. This is, this goes to the PE 800. This one that I have right here. And it's on Amazon. Currently, the price has been fluctuating. I'm assuming it's because of the holidays. Right now, I think it's over a thousand. But this is a really good starter machine, to be honest. Now, if you want a single needle that has a not a single needle, a flatbed, I have to start saying flatbed because there is a persona that's a single needle also. Um, the flatbed that has a bigger hoop, they go up, they go huge, especially for like quilting and stuff. But I'm a fan of Brother products. Um, Bernina has a good one. Who else has good? Bernina? Oh. Brother. Brother. The only, only thing I would say is brother. That's all I like. Well, we just like, we're, we're brother fans over here. So, but there are you others. And, really good. Didn't cost a thousand. and that's the NQ what? $1, so my mom, y'all, yeah, we just have machines laying around. We have an NQ 1150 just hanging out on the floor over here, um, waiting for my mom to get to where she can just, you know, maneuver around and she wants to do a couple things on it. 
But that's my suggestion. I always suggest brother because that's what I use. But not to say that any of the other ones are out there. Are not out there. They're not good. They're good. Uh, let's see. Susan said, "Get a walk-in tub." Listen, I, you might be on the something. You on the something, Susan? Mm -hmm. Um. They're what speed is your machine on? Wide open? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never changed it. Um, let's see. I don't even know how to, to be honest, I've never changed it. I, I don't even want to slow it down. So let's go to, let's see, frame. Speed. So the max is 650 stitches per minute on the single needle, which in my opinion is slow because my multi-needle i keep it on 800 unless i'm doing something delicate or hats uh, or using metallic can you help me on what you use for your patches do you give instruction cards with your patches i like to make some letter patches for a client I definitely, I wish I had it here with me, but um, I definitely, oh, I do. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, so this was the patch. Remember this patch I did for Halloween? Um, I did a live. This, this, yeah, it's just a patch. I think I got the file from Apex. But I do. It comes on the back of mine. It comes with patch instructions, and I use double-sided tape here to adhere the patch to it. I have all my, you know, branding information on the bottom, and I used Canva. I did a tutorial in the academy on showing them one, and then if you took my patch class, what, what did we do? Pumpkin patch. I did the pumpkin patch class, and I gave out the template to a patch, so it was like not branded or anything. You can go in and, and make it your own, or you can just use that one, however. Um, but yeah, I just always, it's a five by seven card, and I just always put it in there. It's my patch card with my patch instructions. Um, and I got that idea actually from um, a house called Hugh. She does her patches. She always makes them super, super pretty. So I got that idea from her. Um, I did a pair with stock with sock help, sock helper. Show pictures, please. Jeff, you're going to have to post your pictures in the group once you're done. In the, put it in the It's So Sweet to Learn group. So if you want to see the pictures of Jeff's socks, I'm sure he has it on his page, but also it'll be on the It's So Sweet to Learn group. You'll have to hop in there to see it. Um, yep, so we, I mean, we, we got to see what your socks look like now, Jeff. <laughs> Kanitha said she came for the stitch. <laughs> Calm down, it's okay. Uh, said she came for the stitch, but now she knows she really came for mom. Listen, I'm telling you, it's a whole vibe, okay? It's a whole vibe. All we needed here was, you know, the rest of the family. It's, trust me, the holidays are lit. Okay. Cannon's coming. Cannon is coming. And you're welcome. Artika. Your budget have a lot to do with machine either. Well, That's fair. Have a party. What are your Sunday evening? Y'all down for that? The party animal over here says, why don't we just have a party a Sunday evening? I should do that. Ooh, I should just drop my link to my Zoom, yeah. and then we all hop on Zoom for So Sweet Sunday one day, and we have a party. It'd be a stitch along or something like that. I'll be able to dance by then. Should we dance? I'm not even going to say it. Okay, anywho, um, I, I thought of a funny joke. Jeff made a good point. Your budget will have a lot to do with the machine that you get. So rule of thumb is you buy as a big a hoop as as big of a hoop as your budget can afford. It's kind of a no-brainer right there. If you can afford a huge hoop, get a huge hoop. Get the biggest one that you can afford. Um, Janome. Janome? I never know. Janome. My mom says that's good. She likes Janome. Janome's name. I could do it over. I would go with the starter one. You're welcome, Samantha. There are different. Oh, I'm behind on these notes, on these comments. There are different types of single needle machines, ones that are both sewing, embroidery, and embroidery only. So the the four x four is a sewing and an embroidery machine. And then I don't think 
there any of the Husqvarna? Oh yeah, Husqvarna too. I have that. She has that, y'all. She has it, but she just FYI. Um, I don't think there's any of the five by seven ones that come with the sewing machine. I think it's either the four by four. Husqvarna? No, no, brother. Oh. Uh, I, I haven't okay. seen it. I don't know. It's the four by four that's the sewing machine attachment, and then mm -hmm. there's some of the bigger ones. The bigger hoop sizes from there but me personally i don't like the ones that come with the sewing machine attachment i like to have my embroidery machine separate from my sewing machine because especially when i was doing my patches not my patches my masks it was so much easier to mass produce have something um, embroidering right here and then have my sewing machine stitching here so i had one already if that's what's in your budget to get the two in one you're, you're okay with going back and forth between the two do that do what works for you but me personally I just always like I just have to set it up to be easy for me I need easy button easy button joy wait which oh yeah the patch one I'm I'm probably gonna do another one um, the beginning of the year so I will be rolling out the ship and stitch um, the ship and stitch box and that one will be on subscription so therefore you'll be able to get a ton of Cool stuff. It's like ship and stitch on steroids. Uh, what else? Jeff says he has one of those too. Love the packaging. What software did you, did you use? Um, Midwest somewhere. Jeff, my mother would like to know where you live. I, I should know this. I know this. I, I've shipped stuff to Jeff. I should know this. Um, that would have been a good trivia question. Who lives in Georgia in my mom said, who lives in Georgia? Near Augusta. Sublimates near Augusta. She's on the friend prowl. A lot of them do. I think. Does she well, I need somebody. Okay, y'all. ISO a friend for my mom. Okay. In search of a friend. Uh, from the shipping department. Oh, Scotty said, what software do you use? I use So What Pro, Die Hard So What Pro fan. Okay. My Academy members, my It's So Sweet to Learn viewers, everybody got on me so bad and told me that I needed to get familiar with Embrilliance. And I got it. And then I was like, oh, I still, you know, it's just, it's just still not as easy to use. And then one day I actually sat down and got really acquainted with it and I watched a couple of Lisa Shaw's videos and then I went to um, embroidery, um, the embroidery thing in Biloxi that I went to and I fell in love with it. So I have gotten better at it. I have enthusiasts and I have, I have something, I have something else. The main one, I have, when, when I upgraded to enthusiasts, it opened a whole bunch of new doors for me. So. Um, I have those. I think I might get the stitch artists because there's more than one stitch artist. The only thing you just have to buy each one individually um, just to build on the different tools that you can use. I also have Hatch. Um, I'm learning Hatch slowly. I have digitized a thing or two, but you know, anybody that knows me, digitizing is not my ultimate goal. I just want to be able to digitize a couple things so that I can use it. So like, let's say I, I wanted to do that I teach embroidery just to, to give to you all as a part of, you know, watching today or something like that. I want to be able to do stuff like that, but I can't because I can't just give away other people's work. Because you don't know what to get me in trouble. Listen, <laughs> y'all got bail money? No? Okay. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to learn how to do it. Um, just well enough to do it. I did a couple of them for like, what did I do? Craft Queen? Craft Queen? Craft Attic? Something like that. Um, for the hat tutorial that I did, but... We did the single needle hat and I gave out a file there. Or sometimes I bother a couple of my digitizer friends. You guys know who you are. I bother them all the time and I get them to digitize stuff for me on a regular for my classes. And they're super sweet enough to do it for me. Um, she has to, Oh, Kanitha, she will be. This week she will be. Kanitha says you have to be a part of the Tuesday class. Oh, tell her I'll be here. Oh my gosh, she will be. It's funny because y'all know I sold everything. I sold all my sofa, everything. I'm in my living room right now, but it's just literally my, I put this, I got rid of my entertainment center. It's in my garage. I'm going to sell that too, or probably give it away because I just don't feel like going through all that. 
but I have these cubes and then my tree and then on this side I have just open space and I had another couple of workspaces over there but I had to put my TV back so she could watch TV but literally there's only one recliner in here so if we if she has guests to come visit her I don't know what they're gonna do I hope they, got, I hope they had a knee replacement they can get on the floor just bring the food and hang it at the door and go she said just bring the food and go I don't know um yes samantha so samantha very good question if we sign up for the monthly subscription can we get access to the old classes uh for the academy yes for the uh for the for the membership you do get access to all of my previous um previous stitch outs it's i call it the library or the modules area or any of that stuff you get 24 hour access to it hey margo Hey, Catherine. All y'all that are just joining me, I don't, if, if y'all feel like it, okay? So today was crazy. It was a little cray-cray. We started off a little rocky, but we got on track. Then we got off track. Then we got back on track. And then we're here. Brother PE, 500 is less than $500 for $30. Buy a bigger hoop for it for and small one. So let me tell y'all what I do, though. So mine did not come with the 4 by 4 it came with just the five by seven, but I got the, uh, who was it by, Embroidex? I think they sell the one with the bigger hoops that with the repositional hoop, in which I have not done. I've never done a repositional hoop. Um, but if you do that, you get a four by four in there. And your machine, ooh, your, your PE 800 will recognize when it's a smaller one and you can use the four by four hoop like that. So that's what I did. And it's best to hoop your project on the smallest hoop that it'll fit on. Brother NQ is six by ten. It's a good machine, but the hoop balance the hoop bounced more than I liked. Can't, for some reason, won't see the rest. I think that's all we have. I can't see the rest of it. it won't, oh, there we go. Gave it to one of my sisters. Um. I am so behind on these comments. Jeff says he's in Iowa. Oh, that's a little too far. You don't want to go visit? No. Sorry, Jeff. She's not coming to visit. She said it's too far. I want to She wants to live in Did you come up with a price for the subscription box? Kanita, I'm so back and forth on that. I am so back and forth on it. Um, I want to make sure that the price matches the value. And I, knowing me, uh i will overvalue like i'll put so much value in it and then still be like "Ooh, is that too much did i did i charge too much so i'm i'm like right here i'm right here i'm just close to it i have all the softwares learn embroidery first i agree jeff that you said you said it there i need some water mom we're not just joking <laughs> i'm just joking i need water though. you don't have to come on I, I'm almost done. I'll go get some. Um, Jeff made a good point. I cannot reiterate this. I, I just can't. I see so many people that get into embroidery and they want to do logos or they want to do their own brand. Like, so if you're doing your own brand and you, that's when you get into embroidery for, that's that's fine because all you have to do is get yours digitized and you can stitch for your own brand. But if you're wanting to do this for everyone else, it is a little overwhelming trying to learn embroidery and digitizing at the same time it it is it's possible there are plenty of people out there that did it because it's just it's possible i don't want anybody to say oh i did it what are you talking about it's not impossible you can do this it's very much possible but i just want you all to know that it's a little easier if you do um embroidery first because you know you get the hands-on technical part and then when you do the um digitizing it makes sense that's mainly for me that's my thoughts Nita said, please do a repositional hoop project so we can learn. So I can learn. I, I'm going to be learning too. <laughs> Kanita, I've never done one. I've never done it. I haven't. I've never, I never did it. I came from the old school of stitching, which is not very old school. Okay, prices it. Yeah, which is not very old school. Um, but I would, my repositional was take it off the hoop and move my project up. That was my repositional back in the day when I just had the five by seven. Hey, Lynette. Okay, good quilting software, not just for digitizing, but quilting. They could convert different files. Which one? 
Oh, embroidery work? Is that the name of it? I've never heard of that one. Hey, Joyce. And um, Jeff just kind of solidified why he said that. He said he learned them both at the same time, but he highly recommends doing the embroidery portion of it first. And I mean, the embroidery portion is more fun, unless you are very computer literate and um, you know, you're just really good with it, then go for it. But me personally, I, I got the embroidery part down. So much so that now if I were to go back and learn digitizing, and actually sit down and learn everything that goes with it, it makes sense. I can I look at a file that somebody else has already digitized and I can tell, um, like once I learn about underlay and all that kind of stuff, I can kind of tell if it's gonna pull. I just don't know about the pull compensation and the density. I know the terminology, I just wouldn't know what to do if, if someone just dropped me in the middle of nowhere with the digitizing software and asked me to digitize something. I wouldn't know what to do for you. Um, Floriani has a pretty good one. Okay. First successful software to machine embroidery done. Just one spot where the bobbin had to be. Oh, congratulations. All right, everybody. So while we were on here, I knew I was on here for a while for something. So while we were on here, Scotty said he had his first successful um, software to machine embroidery project done. He only had one spot where the bobbin just kind of acted up. The bobbin just fell out like, a, no, the needle. Usually it's your needle that falls out like a four-year-old in Walmart or two-year-old. That's more acceptable, like a two-year-old in Walmart. But his bobbin acted up on him just a little bit, but he still made it through. Congratulations. I think I'm saying that Scotty is, yeah, Scotty is a male. Um, congratulations. That's big. That's big. <laughs> you deserve a trophy. I think I did ask that right. I'm looking for a software that includes embroidery work. I'm trying to make sure we understand you right, Lynette. That includes embroidery work. Embroidery work. Like, I mean, Hatch, you mean like that has some embroidery files already in there? Hatch has some files in there. And Brilliance has some, in, has some fonts already in there. I think I'm I think I'm understanding you right. And if I am, then I hope that answers. So if you are just joining me, uh, Jeff says they all come with sample designs. So if y'all are just joining me, I know you're like, what did you do today? Did you just sit here and talk to me? Did you just sit here and talk to the people all day? No. I stitched. What are you doing? Grunting about. That was no good. Um, okay, so if you all missed it, let me show you what I did today. Doop. All right, so I teach embroidery. Watch the replay so you can see the backstory of it. Just when we thought things couldn't get daredevilish, we stand on. Oh, can y'all see my toes? I really hope not because I need a pedicure. All right. See? I know. I just I panicked. I saw my ashy feet though. But yeah, that's what we did today. So go back and watch the replay if you missed it, so you can hear the backstory as to why I did stitch that on there. And um, I see a lot of you all are joining through the how does it through the website. If you're trying to join the academy, you actually have to go to the academy page. And then I think it's like join the academy or something like that. So joining through the website that does not get you into the academy. You actually have to go and do the um, do the membership portion through the academy, and then you'll get the next steps on how to get in. Okay, so I just want to make sure you all didn't get mixed up with that because sometimes I get messages to people like I joined the academy and I can't get in, and it's like you joined on the wrong portion. All of that came out when I was um, when I got my website built, and I don't know how to fix it because I don't want to break it. Um, I'm going to watch your old videos. I'm having trouble signing in. I'm having trouble signing in. Send me a message, Joy. Send me a message. I'm looking for the software that I can embroider and convert to the PES, JEF. Okay. 
I'm looking for something that I can do and blend and convert. So it's not, okay, so that's digitizing. So you have to actually like map out the different files. You can't just convert it like click. You can, but it's not the, it's not gonna be as pretty as um, if you were to go in and map out each one, so. Um, but Hatch would be a good one. And I think some of the in brilliant, in brilliant softwares do that. Those are the only ones I can really speak on. There's, there are other ones that someone mentioned, Floriani and was another one but I, I i understand your question now what are you and mom having for dinner susan i have no clue so um my my mother-in-law my daughter's my daughter's other grandmother was supposed to be bringing over dinner but she had to wind up rescheduling so i don't know i don't know I feel like i'm gonna sneeze i don't know so now i gotta go back and figure out what we're gonna cook oh my mom she i think she wants a sweet potato so we'll make this sweet potatoes. I believe you can do that in free essentials program through Embrilliance. Jeff said you may be able to do that in the free essentials program through Embrilliance. Um, you can work between machine types. Mm -hmm. He said, but to convert art into embroidery, there's a lot to learn. Trust me, I know. All right, you guys. This was fun. This was fun. Mom is doing well. You guys are doing well. We are getting ready for the holidays. Hopefully everyone that um, that stitches and that has orders and that has, or that you have gifts that you wanna make, hopefully you're staying ahead on everything. I took the whole weekend off. I did not stitch anything on Friday or Saturday. And then this morning when I woke up, I was like, oh shoot, I am so behind. Uh, so I stitched all morning this morning until I went to Costco and got these pants and I'm still I'm not behind, but I'm, I'm in a very good caught up place. I found that right now I have a ton of robes. So hint, hint, robes are a really good, hot, popular thing for the holidays for gift giving ideas. And if you just make like a flyer, if you're, if you're comfortable with stitching on other people's items, make a flyer and say put a robe on there and say hey i can personalize your robe boom i guarantee you'll get some orders so just a little hint there just a little hint in the academy i had them doing homework and they y'all they rocked it out they do their homework uh, who would have thought it the academy they rock they had homework to do flyers last not last week the week before last they all had to create a flyer did good some people got orders from it some people just got exposure nonetheless you know both of them are a win and then this week we did the patch on the hat. Um, okay, we did a patch on the hat. You know what everybody's doing right now with the either the vinyl, <clears throat> excuse me, either the vinyl or the faux leather. I used faux leather on mine, and they did that for homework, and they rocked that out. It was the bomb. So. Congrats to them. What else? I missed a couple of comments. Okay, what's the name of the pants from Costco? Everyday Jogger. Everyday Jogger. Mondetta. So if you don't have a Costco, just go look it up online. Here they go right here. That is not me in the picture. <laughs> My waistline is not that tiny anymore. But... They're joggers and they have a very similar brand at Old Navy. That's why I like them. <laughs> Steven, I'm not even answering that. Steven is just coming over here picking at me, y'all. I'm going to get you. Oh my gosh. Okay, Joy, I just saw the message come through. I'll, I'll read it as soon as I get off. Um, this isn't just a weekly class, it's our weekly family check-in. I know, sometimes yeah, sometimes I can hop on and hop off, and other times I just get stuck here laughing and joking and talking to y'all, no matter, no matter what the numbers do. The numbers on my end, I can see when people are coming on and going off, that doesn't even bother me anymore. I just keep talking straight through. So if y'all do lives, um, <laughs> just listen. Don't look at the numbers. Just get on here and have fun and be there for your audience, because... That's what we hear. That's what we do. Steven says, I'm here for the comments. I see. 
How's the baby doing, Stephen? How is the little one? Designers Gallery Software. Ooh, I've never heard of that one. All right. How often do you have classes in the academy? So every Tuesday at 8.15 p.m. Eastern, I'm getting good. Like those classes used to go on for hours and then we were like tired and ready to go. But I've, I've condensed it down. We're, we're usually in and out by about an hour and a half, two hours. And um, we do a good, either we do a stitch out, a Q&A, or some type of tech situation or just you know finding different blanks and everything we haven't done that in a while but we are a really tight-knit community y'all we are very protective of each other in there jenny says i enjoy sunday chats i'm glad y'all i'm glad because some days i'll be out here like did i just really cut up like that did i really just mm -hmm. yeah y'all want me to talk y'all hear did you hear my peanut gallery um getting too big too fast oh that's what babies do they grow up too fast on us my baby my big baby is gonna be 14 <gasps> 14 in a week y'all i was not ready y'all did not let me think that one through first i was supposed to think about that in silence with prayer i'm about to have a 14 year old next year i'm gonna have a high schooler um, oh, i just think what we had at 13. i'm not ready she's a good kid but I, I'm not ready, y'all. Send some prayers. Um, all right. Jeff gave some good information about the designer's gallery. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go. Make sure you catch the replay and type hashtag replay. Also, make sure if you catch me on YouTube, you like, like, subscribe. What's the other way you can do? like subscribe i mean you can share it thumbs up no that's the like bell notification like subscribe and hit the bell notification all right y'all i gotta go because i'm getting super thirsty and my mom wants to eat something so i've got to take care of my all-star patient over here that is rocking it out after her brand new total knee replacement okay we're three days post-op and she is the bomb she is rocking it she is rocking it. She's doing well. And we will see you on Tuesday. We'll see Academy members on Tuesday. Um, mentorship students, I will see you on your assigned days. And also, ooh, I think this week I have my live. I thought it was last week, but it was the wrong week. I have my live in... Um, the DIY craft network group we are doing the 25 days of craftsmas where we all it's like a couple of other crafters we all have a night that we do at, where are you going? by yourself? okay y'all heard it she's, she's about to get up and go walk by herself Evelyn come get your friend Evelyn, Susan get y'all's friend y'all knee replacement people Move that blanket. Don't let it get in your way. Oh my gosh, y'all. Um, but yeah, so we go live. One person go pick tonight and we go live every night. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Hold on, y'all. We go live every stop. Y'all, she's dancing. Y'all, can we can we please just whoop her? She's trying to dance. Okay. Um, but anyway, someone goes live every night for 25 days until until um until christmas so if you're not in that group go ahead and hop over there and um get this all kind of it's all kind of crap all right so i will see you all later you guys be good love on your loved ones next week when next time i see y'all again i'll have a 14 year old and it'll be her birthday so we may have to do a special stitch out for her i can't i wanted to do some of her birthday and christmas stuff on here but i can't because she watches me on youtube and she would be able to see my, um, she would be able to see her gifts. So I've already done something for her, but she can't, she can't, she doesn't know what it is. So mom, Evelyn said, be careful, girlfriend. She said she will. All right. I trust that she will also. All right. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See y'all later. Remember, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. All 
All right, and then another word to the wise. If you have a knee replacement, you probably can't get down on the floor anymore. Okay. We should sing happy birthday to her. I agree. I agree. That would be super cool. Um, I have to find some cute ways for you all to. If you have any ideas of how we can surprise her with a cute little, I guess it won't be a surprise because like I said, she watches me on YouTube each week. Um, but a super cute way to tell her happy birthday from all of you all. Like maybe like stitch out like a happy birthday something and then post it. I don't know. Something cute. Something cute. And then, Oh, and then she said, Mom, this year are we going to do the thing where we put my cash app on there again? Y'all, I cannot with her. I said we might. So listen, if, if her cash app is up there, it's, it's, it's not me, it's her. Last year, she used all her money to open up her nail, um, her nail business, so that was a good thing. All right, I gotta go. I gotta call and check on her hair. Um, address so we can send cards. Ooh, my, I don't know. I don't know about sending my address. I'll, I'll see. I'll see. I'll see about that. All right. See you guys later. Bye.